Hi everyone, um, I'm Jade Weidenfeller and I chose to do my research report on Levi Strauss and Co. So here I am at home, of course, COVID-19. So here we go. In today's modern and technological world, companies are expected to efficiently deliver high quality products while increasing customer satisfaction levels and inversely reducing overall costs. So I'm going to break down the supply chain pro process of one of the world's largest brand name apparel companies, Levi Strauss. Levi Strauss was founded in 1853 as a wholesale dry goods business in San Francisco, California, and begun its empire by producing work pants that could hold up under rougher conditions. Since then, they have paved the way and become a global leader in jeanswear. Their pioneering spirit has allowed them to have headquarters in San Francisco, Brussels, and Singapore, with their product being sold in 110 different countries with 50,000 retail outlets. Levi Strauss works hard to reduce their carbon footprint and water usage, as well as other indirect environmental impacts. They became an industry leader in factory disclosure by being one of the first companies to publish their supplier list, creating supply chain transparency. Nike did this as well. Um, they use downstream supply chain and around 91% of their products are cotton based, which actually demands an immense amount of water to grow. Because of that, they became a partner of the Better Cotton Initiative, BCI, which works to help cotton farmers reduce water and chemical use. So it's helping the farmers save money as well. Their cotton is completely sourced from BCI growers, organic cotton farms, and recycled cotton suppliers. Since 2007, they have saved over a billion liters of water through their water recycle standard implemented in their supply chain. After sourcing these raw materials, they are then sent to independent manufacturers in 26 different countries across the globe for production and finishing, and no single country represents more than 20% of production. Their inventory tends to build during peak seasons, typically during the holiday season, which is the fourth quarter, or in the third quarter for back-to-school shopping. There's a total of nine distribution-only centers around the world, and they use channels like multi-brand outlets, exclusive brand outlets, e-commerce sites, company-owned outlets, and franchise outlets. And sales to their top 10 wholesalers and multi-brand outlets accounted for 27% of net revenue. But even the most prosperous of companies still have their problems. Um, on March 21st, 2019, the company went public for the first time or for the second time in history with a price of $17 per share. And from March to September of 2019, the stock price actually went down 20, 25% due to weaknesses in the wholesale market, which makes up around two thirds of their business. Um, as a result, Levi Jeans lost shelf space at retail locations that were expected to close, which was hindering their ability to perform. The downfall of the wholesale market leads to distressed inventory, pricing pressure, reduced sales, and an overall decline in business performance. Another current and ongoing issue that's affecting Levi Strauss is COVID-19. This deadly virus affected the world at large and caused a closing of all non-essential businesses for a prolonged period of time, which hopefully open up soon. Um, 257 stores have been temporarily closed in U.S. and Canada, and they are continuing to pay their employees for a month after the closure, so just a month. Um, this, the devastating retail apocalypse has had shuttering effects on the wholesale industry, leaving empty storefronts and employees jobless. Since the majority 65% of revenue in Levi Strauss comes from wholesale channels, the newly public company has been taking quite a plunge. In order to offset this downturn, the company should shift priority away from companies that are suffering like Sears, Macy's, JCPenney, and expand their partnership to include premium brands like Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's, which will not close and will enlarge their target audience to involve high-end shoppers. They should also put more of an emphasis on international business and e-commerce, 
Because in this day and age, many customers are shopping from the comfort of their homes, and that can be used to an advantage. To also attract com- customers during this financially diff- difficult time, they could offer big discounts and promotions to make up for the loss of profit. Um, and now addressing the COVID-19 issue, unlike any other apparel company, this 167-year-old company has persevered through the 1918 Spanish flu, world wars, the Great Procession, and now coronavirus. In the wake of the reopening stores across the world, Levi Strauss should take precautions in order to make their employees and their customers feel physically safe, like limiting the number of customers in the store, continuously cleaning dressing rooms, offering in-store pickup or curbside services, hand sanitation, and host an employee safety training session. On the website, they could create a program in which customers can try on clothes Um, You could upload pictures of yourself, and it would find your measurements and provide you with products that would fit your shape, your body shape. Um, So some professional recommendations. It has been shown that companies that rely on the retail channel have become increasingly dependent on e-commerce sites in order to drive sales growth. In well-known stores like Walmart and Gap, online sales have grown, while in-store sales have declined. And this trend has resulted in a downscale of retail stores and a growing presence of online channels. Macy's actually created a magic mirror that allows customers to virtually try on clothes by using a touchscreen tablet connected to a large mirror. And select stores like Ralph Lauren, Newman Marcus have adapted to this tech-savvy mirror so customers can select the perfect color, size, or cut of the product. And this is shown to be really successful and high tech as well. So that's what I have to say about my report so far for Levi Strauss. And I hope everyone's staying safe. Thank you.